In this video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Liquify 2 Photoshop action. So we're going to be using this photo here as an example. And the way the action works is that we brush over where we want the liquid to appear on our photo. We play the action and it will convert that area into a liquid effect. Uh, and each time you run the action, even if you use the same brushed area, you're going to get a complete completely unique variation on the look of the liquid. So I've got a few more examples here. Uh, I had this photo, I brush there. So you can see you can be a little bit more creative uh, with where you brush. Played the action and got that. This horse brushed there and got that. This guy just added a bit of color there. So you can see that uh, you can also color the liquid as well. And this guy, uh, from that to that. Okay, so I'm gonna close all these down and I'm gonna start from our photo. So a few important things to check off before uh, we run the action, just to make sure you don't get any errors. So when you open up your uh, photo, it needs to look like this in the layer panel. It needs to say background and have that lock symbol. So for example, if you open up your photo and it's called something else, what you need to do is just go to layer, new background from layer, and it will set it as the background. Okay, next, just still in the layer panel, go to the top right hand corner icon and go to panel options. Just down the bottom here, make sure to add copy to copy layers and groups is selected. Uh, next, just go to the image menu, go to mode, just make sure RGB color mode and 8 bits of channel is selected. And uh, lastly, just make sure that using a, a decent sized photo, you can see my size there, just avoid using small photos, you know, anything under say 800 pixels, then you might start to get some strange results. So um, keep it a bit bigger and you'll be fine. Okay, so what we need to do now is create the brush layer. So if we just create a new layer, I go to layer, new layer. This needs to be called brush, uh, all in lowercase as well. If it's called anything different, then the action won't work at all. Click OK. So with our brush layer selected, you want to brush up your photo where we want the liquid to appear. So you can use any color, doesn't matter. So I am just going to brush, I want some to appear around this area, maybe down along through here, up along here, a little bit on the foot, maybe a bit here, and a few bits um, stemming off this way. Okay, so yeah, just keep in mind that uh, whether you brush, the liquid grows out from that area. So it is concentrated around that area, but it's not so condensed around you know, within the area that you brush, it grows out a bit. So like around here, it's gonna look quite dense with liquid. Uh, anyway, I'm just gonna play, um, well, first we're gonna load up the actions. So if we go to the window menu, go to actions, the actions panel will pop up here. Go up to the top here and select load actions and just select the liquify 2atn file. And here it is. So that's all we need to do. The action is now ready to go. Uh, I am going to click play then just fast forward the video and get to the result. The action runs for around three minutes. So uh, just click play and come back to Photoshop in a few minutes time. So I'm just gonna click play now and jump to the result. So the action stopped and you can see uh, the result here. So I'm just gonna minimize the actions panel now and we'll go into the layer panel. So the first thing we want to do is collapse these folders. So with the folder that's already selected, just hover over the arrow and hold down uh, Control, Alt, and, or Command, Option on a Mac. Just click that arrow and it will just uh, quickly collapse all the folders. Okay, so this top layer here is our brush layer that I've kept on. So if we just uh, take a moment to have a look uh, at how the liquid has structured itself around the area that we brush. So you can see that 
for example, on her hand here, how the, the liquid grows out from that area. So keep that in mind. So I've only done three small strokes over in this corner and you can see how it's really uh, condensed this area. So you don't want to brush, you don't need to brush over huge amounts of your photo. Uh, you only need to do little, little strokes. But yeah, don't make the strokes too thin. This is a good size uh, to use. And like I said, if you want to run the action again, uh, you can use the same brushed area and uh, this results, the, f the form of all this liquid is going to look completely different. Okay, so let's now move down. I've just added a default color grade uh, to your photo, which you can leave on or off. Uh, I'll put a link down in the video below to a set of color actions that I've also got if you want to use them or you can hunt around for other ones. So here's the main folder, liquify 2, we go inside, we'll go through all these folders now. So this top one, large blurred dots, uh, these ones hang around the edges of uh, pretty much the, uh, the edges of all this liquid here. So what I might do, I might just invert the background so, gonna, so it's much darker so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, this large blurred dots, so if I turn this one on and off again, you can clearly see that they appear right around the top edges of all the liquid. So you can uh, use that if you want. You can turn that on or off. Just invert that back. So this one here, increase overall density. If I just flick this one on, what that'll do, it will add uh, yeah, a lot more density to the liquid. It will make it appear much more prominent, especially on white backgrounds like this one here. And so you can adjust the opacity of this layer. So currently it's set to 60. I can crank that up to 100 and back to zero. Uh, and what you can also do, if you know, if you wanted it say 100, but you don't want, you only want a specific area to appear darker, you can just use the mask. You can see that each on each one of these layers and folders, there's a mask, so we can control exactly where liquid or where certain effects want to appear. So if I just grab my black brush, you know, I can brush away uh, where I want, oh, so I'm using the wrong, wrong layer. This one here, increase overall density, I can brush that away, just like that there. So this way I can control where I want it to appear darker. So like up here and around her hands and hair. So now if I flick that one on and off, you can see I've really controlled that much better. Okay, uh, I'm just going to, I'll just hide that layer. Go back down to this one, I'll just fix that mask up. So this uh, folder here, splash set one, if I flick this one on and off, you can see that this houses most of the effects. So if we go inside here, there are a couple of different layers which you can freely move around if you want to reposition the liquid, uh, you can duplicate them, rotate them to to add more uh, to your design. Okay, so going on down, this one here, small splash dots. I'll just invert this photo again so we can see this a bit better. Uh, if I flick this on and off, you can see that they're just those very uh, small dots that appear randomly over the photo. Again, you can duplicate them, rotate them to add more. Splash set two, uh, it's only got a couple of layers in it. But what I suggest you do with uh, this folder or any other folder layer is experiment with the blend modes. So for example, I, this one's set to soft light. If I turn it to linear dodge add, you can see that those forms have come through much clearer now. You know, you can change this to multiple to uh, make it darker. So that's got a similar effect to turn on increased overall density. But just by default, it's set to soft light. And there's just a couple of layers in it there which you can uh, play around with. So this folder here, add color, if you flick this one on, it will, oops, sorry, it will add color to, um, yeah, all the liquids. So if we go inside here, uh, this is a couple of layers. We can double click on this one and pick a color and it will fill the liquid in with a different color. So we'll just go with that. Um, this one, you don't need to touch that layer. 
But this one here, you can play around with a bit. So this one's opacity is set to 50%. You can turn that up to 100. It will increase the overall uh, density of the liquid, turn it down to zero. It'll still apply some of the color, um, but only very faint. So again, um, you can control control that with the mask. So if I brush um, black into that mask, I can control exactly where I want that, um, all those gold uh, liquid spots to appear. Okay, so going on down, we have this white backing uh, layer. So by default, the opacity is set to zero. I'll just turn this one up to 100. And you can see that it adds, uh, well, it adds a white backing to all the liquid, so it can help just make areas appear much, come on uh, much stronger. Uh, what I'll do, I'll just hide these so we can see it. So what it is, it's just basically a copy of um, all the liquid, and it fills it white and sets it behind everything. And as you can see there, you can use that basically as an, as an effect on its own. You can turn off all these other layers if you want. Um, just brush away where you don't want it to appear. So that, so you can play around with that layer as well. Um, just flip all these back on. I might just turn this one off. So I think that pretty much covers everything. I've got a list of things here. Let's have a look. Uh, okay, so while you have uh, applied a colour, it's good to just experiment uh, with what I might do is just hide this mask for a second. Uh, to experiment with the blend modes of the folder, so for example, I can flip this to multiple and you can see that it changes the appearance of the, uh, the liquid, change that to add, uh, overlay, so just play around with that. You can play around with this one here as well, let's try multiple. So yeah, uh, experiment with those. Uh, I'll just put that back to soft lights, just to pass through. Uh, don't forget to also experiment with duplicating folders. So I can just hit Control J to duplicate that entire folder. And basically that's just given us a whole new set of uh, liquid layers to move around. And lastly, if you want to just export the liquid on its own, on a transparent background, just flip off the background layer, and you can see that uh, all the liquid is now uh, on a transparent background. And lastly, lastly, one more thing I forgot to cover, I'll just turn the background back on. Use the Liquify 2 folder mask to brush away uh, any liquid you don't want to appear. So if I just grab my black brush and brush over the photo, you can see that I can erase anything. That's like the master control. So you can really fine tune, uh, you know, if I didn't want, say, this splash here, I can really get in there and just erase that. Erase that. So anything you don't like the look of, um, yeah, just use that folder mask there and erase it. Okay, so that's it. If you're having troubles with the action, uh, shoot me over an email. But if not, I hope you have fun using it. Thanks.